Alright guys, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. This is going to be the final episode in our series where we will be maxing our Town Hall 11 base, guys. Things are about to change right now inside of this video. If we head over to the final building inside of the entire base, which needs maxed out, it is a level 14 cannon, 9 million gold. We're about to do this. So 9 million gold guys, it's going to take us 9 days for the upgrade. We have got ourselves enough gold, but we don't have any builders free because I currently have every single builder upgrading archer towers and cannons. But I don't want to, um, you know, lose all this gold I've got inside of my storage. So we're going to go ahead, free up a builder, and we've done it guys. There it is. It's actually weird to think that this base is now 100% maxed out. And as I keep saying, guys, loads of you keep commenting down below, Tony, you haven't maxed your walls. I have. Supercell only let you upgrade and max out 75 level 12 walls, guys. So it's official. The base is 100% maxed out. So let me tell you what we're going to do right now on the channel. Loads of people are saying, Tony, are you going to quit? No, guys, we are not going to be quitting. We are going to be, uh, you know, upgrading loads on Captain Tony. But this account, here's what we're going to do. There is currently a total of, if we go into top players, 10 days and 15 hours left in the season. So a new season starts in just under 11 days time. So what I'm going to do, over the next 11 days, we are going to push all the way up to 5,000, maybe 51, 5,200 trophies. And then when the new season starts, we're going to go for top 100 global on the main base, guys. We're going to try and get at least 6 thousand trophies so do me a favor guys let me know down below in that comment section how high do you think i can go next season how many trophies do you honestly think i can get next season september 2017 i reckon i could get to maybe 6200 just kind of depends how hard i work how many uh, you know hours i grind at the game but let me know your thoughts your guesses down below make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you want to join us on the journey and find out how many trophies I can get next season. But let's do this, guys. We're going to start it off right now. We've maxed out the entire Town Hall 11 base. There is going to be another update coming out, maybe, with Builders Hall 7. And it might include some new features for Town Hall 11. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if a new update does come out, there will be some new upgrades for Town Hall 11. Okay, guys. So quick change of plans. We were going to get ourselves into a couple of live attacks as we try to push the Legends League. But I kind of figured out. We've maxed out Town Hall 11, so why don't I max out Builders Hall 6? Now, for anyone that's new to the channel, this is my Builders Hall 6 base. I have almost maxed out the entire base. We just have a couple of buildings, or a couple of traps, sorry, left to upgrade. In fact, I think that is the final building inside of the entire base as well. And then all we have to do is max out every single one of these level 5 walls to level 6. So we, we have uh, all level 5, and we need to get all level 6, guys. So we have 3 wins. If we win three battles, we're going to get about seven, eight hundred thousand gold, guys. And it's going to cost us over a million, I believe, to upgrade a single wall. So that means every two days, I can upgrade one wall on my Builder's Hall 6 base. So we're going to start grinding. I'm going to try and max out Builder's Hall 6 before Builder's Hall 7 is released, I think, in September. So here we go. We've landed on Matty 1982. Now, we do need to win in order to actually get that loot, guys. So drop a like on the video. Smash that like button to wish me good luck, guys. How many people are watching this video with socks on? Leave a like if you are. So here we go. Now, taking a quick look. Okay, so I want to avoid the guard post. I want to avoid the roaster. And that means I'm going to be striking from the right-hand side of the base. Just before we do that, let's just drop in a bomber there just to open up that compartment. A bomber there, a bomber there, and there goes the battle machine. And then the final bomber going to go up the top area, guys. So here we go. Let's drop in a couple of these uh, these Rage Barbarians, try to do a little bit of damage, you know, open up the base, guys, and take down some of these buildings. Oh, we just hit a push trap and a spring trap. So we're going to drop in the final few Rage Barbarians. Get as much damage done to the base as possible. There goes the Battle Machine's ability for the second time. He's going to take out that Elixir Storage. And also grab us the Firecrackers, guys. Get a shot off onto the Crusher, so that's okay. And uh, it looks like the Bomber is the final man standing. But he's dead. Hashtag RIP Bomber. And we've got a good shot here at the Town Hall. Sorry, the Builder's Hall. So let's grab the, uh, the Gem Mine. And let's move in. Take out the Crusher. Oh, push trap. What are my archers going to hit? Okay, so we need to take out the double cannon. Sorry, the cannon. We need to take out the moldy mortar and the crusher. And then 
we should have a clear shot at taking on the Builders Hall, guys. So here we go, a couple more archers. Just gonna slip and slide them in very slowly. Oh, that was kind of like a tongue twister, guys. Slip and slide them in slowly and uh, see what happens. So here we go. Another sneaky archer gonna go in. We are fading down. We've only got nine left. We need to be very conservative here. We need to save these sneaky archers and make sure we don't waste them. Check it out. One more onto the uh, the moldy mortar. And it should be game over for this dude's builder soul. So here we go. Final sneaky archer going onto the moldy mortar. And that's already a 48% total damage. It's looking good. It's definitely looking good, guys. So check it out. Let's see. Can we grab the builder soul? Nope. She's going to go for the roaster. Oh, damn. Oh damn, we're in trouble here guys. So we got five remaining now. I think we need to take out this double cannon. We're going to need to take it down guys. So we've dropped a couple of sneaky archers in on it. Done about 70% total damage. So there goes another one. And we've got exactly one minute left on the clock guys. So we got four sneaky archers left. We need this double cannon to go down. There it goes. And the one star has been achieved. Okay, now we should be able to go for the builder hall. There we go. Three sneaky archers gonna go down. They're straight into the center, guys. Can they take it down or will the roaster finish them? Let's find out. 40 seconds left in the battle. Here we go. Roaster's been activated and they just about didn't manage to do it, but we got one final sneaky archer. She goes down and technically she should grab me the second star. She should have enough firepower. Here we go. One more shot and it's down, guys. There we go. Two star in the bag. Let's end the battle there. My attack is over. Did we get a victory? Yes, we did. 120,000 golden elixir. Okay, so that gets us victory number one. But we still have two more wins, guys. So let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. And uh, let's try and max out this Builders Hall 6. So we've landed on Danielle. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is next Ego. It isn't a maxed out base, guys. It's actually got very low level walls. But the fences appear to be pretty high level. So... Looks like we can grab a couple of buildings using a bomber here and also maybe take out a guard post troop. Nope, we didn't manage to do that, but we can take out the archers now. Let's do that, guys. RIP guard post. Here we go. Can we take out all four of them, guys? It's going to be a close one, but it looks like we're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so there goes my final rage barbarian. And it cost me six. That's quite poor. That's a lot of guard post troops, so that's a lot of troops I wasted, but... We did get 9% total damage, so I suppose it was maybe worth it. I'm not really sure, guys, but we still got three bombers. So let's try now to um, open up these walls on the left-hand side. So before we do that, let's just take out these two buildings here. Okay, so we're going to take out the camp, and we're also going to grab the collector. And it only cost me two barbarians, guys, so that's awesome. So there goes the battle machine. Going to pop his ability nice and early. We're also going to open up these walls, guys. We're going to save a couple barbarians now. And um, we're going to try and get into the core of this base. Here we go. It looks like it's going to be a success. Yes, it is, guys. So all the rest of them are going to go into the center where the Archer Tower is. Battle Machine ability is going to get used. They're actually going to take out and do a lot of damage to these buildings, guys. So it is looking great. 30% damage so far. Awesome. Okay. So it does look like we will be getting another two-star, guys. So let's take out this um, the Gem Mine and the Archer Tower. We'll wait for our archers to do some work here and find out where we are sitting, guys. Okay, so it looks like the archer tower is going to fall as well. And I think if we take out this this gold mine, sorry, gold uh, gold storage, take out the hero stand, the elixir collector. And I think we've got a clear shot now at the builder soul. As soon as this gold storage goes down, guys, it's game over. So let's find out. Here we go. And that archer's just ran out of range of that cannon as well. You know what? We might also get a shot at taking down this elixir storage. But here we go. Can we grab the uh, the builder soul? Let's see. Three sneaky archers going to go in, guys. Connecting onto it. And the elixir storage is down as well. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's be cheeky. And uh, let's grab this moldy mortar. Once that's down, we can grab the other uh, guard post. And there goes the builder soul. Two star in the bag already. Now we can take out the... Clock Tower, the Moldy Mortar's been taken out. And now the Moldy Mortar's down. We can take out the Guard Post, guys. This is actually a pretty damn decent attack. Might end up above 60%. That's awesome. So there we go, 56. So there we go, 56% so far. We got two Sneaky Archers remaining. What should we go for? What should we target? Let's go in for this cannon, guys. Can we take it down in time? Here we go, 15 seconds left. Two Sneaky Archers on it. If we can take it... 
it's going to take us to over 62%. Sorry, 262%. Here we go. It's going to be close, guys. And it's... Oh, damn. I thought that was going to go down. But there we go. A 59% two-star. And we got ourselves our second victory. Awesome, guys. So we're doing a great job so far. And that means one final live attack. One final versus battle to end the episode, guys. The versus battle of all versus battles. Can we take our third victory in a row? Grab ourselves the final loot bonus and hopefully put it towards maxing out Builder Soul 6. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment once we land on a dude. So here we go, guys. We've landed once again another extremely low-level wall base, but it's got kind of max defenses, so these people obviously kind of are uh, neglecting their walls, guys, but that's good for me. So we're going to drop in this bomber here. I'm hoping he's going to... Let's take out this, um, this army camp, guys. I want this bomber to actually swing to the right-hand side. And uh, hopefully, all we want him to do is at least open up these walls. If he opens up the walls, we've got a great shot here. Oh, awesome. We also activated a Mega Mine, so that's cool. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to wait a second. We're going to start this live attack, guys. The main attack, his guard post is upgrading, so he hasn't got any guard post troops. So that's really good for me. We're going we're gonna to actually, um, we're going to strike from this side of the base here. So let's do this, guys. We're going to distract the battle machine. We're going to use these bombers to just open up the base, guys, and uh, get some damage done. Here we go. And then we're going to drop down a couple more of these uh, these Rage Barbarians. I want to keep a couple because I do want to try and open up some of the base on the other side. Sorry, I want to try and take out some of the buildings on the other side. But I don't think we're going to be able to keep any, guys. We're going to have to sacrifice our Rage Barbarians to protect our bombers. But it worked. We got the base open, and we should be able to take down these defenses now. So let's go. Here we go. Double cannon. Moldy mortar and the single cannon should all fall here, guys. Let's find out. There we go. Archers ripping these defenses down. Can we take out this double... Sorry, the, uh, the final single cannon, guys. We got archers getting a couple of shots off, but we didn't quite have the firepower. But once this, uh, this cannon goes down, we could have a chance here at grabbing this builder sword. The question is, can we actually take it out? I'm honestly not too sure, guys. But we've got the crusher. We're going to take out this star laboratory as well. We're going to take out this barrack. And uh, we're going to leave it at that and kind of see what happens. So let's just wait a second and see what happens once all these buildings are taken down. So the crusher, star laboratory, and the barrack. We've got plenty of buildings there as well. But I'm not sure... If we can grab the Builder's Hall, guys. To be honest with you, I think we're going to have to leave it. Or, I've got a plan. Check this out. We're going to take out this cannon. Once this cannon goes down, we're going to take out this Archer Tower. And I'm actually thinking we might be able to take out this, uh, this Builder's Hall, guys. Attacking from the opposite side. But we've only got 40 seconds. So let's see what we can do. Here we go, 40 seconds. We're going to have to be chance it here. Send in the rest of us. No, Mega Mine goes off. Takes out all four of my sneaky archers. RIP, guys. RIP. I don't think we even have enough time to take out those air bombs. Only 18 seconds. We may as well end it there, guys. Let's just find out. Did we get a victory or did we fail? We failed. Last battle and we failed. Minus 31 trophies. Kind of sucks, but we'll, we'll complete it. Don't worry, guys. We'll pick up the rest of the loot bonus. So leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you shortly for another video, guys. Peace out.